Edgar Allan Poe. In the somber alleys of Boston, on a frosty January night in 1809, a child destined to tread the dark and winding path of existence was born, Edgar Allan Poe. Yet, his arrival into the world was marked by tragedy from the outset. His mother, Elizabeth Arnold Poe, a talented actress with delicate health, battled tuberculosis while giving birth to her third child. The relentless disease, as implacable as fate itself, claimed Elizabeth's life nearly two years later, leaving Edgar and his two siblings in the shadow of loss. His father, David Poe Jr., an alcoholic actor tormented by his own demons, had vanished from their lives before they could truly know him. This absence left an open wound in Edgar's heart, one that only deepened with his mother's departure. They were taken in by John Allen, a prosperous tobacco merchant, and his wife Frances, who endeavored to fill the void left by Elizabeth's loss. However, the shadow of tragedy always accompanied them, and Edgar never truly felt at home in the Allen household. Despite his painful childhood, Edgar found solace in words. From a young age, he sought refuge in books, losing himself in worlds of fantasy and adventure. He soon began writing his own stories, unleashing his restless imagination and creative ingenuity. His quest for knowledge led him to the University of Virginia in 1826, but his studies were interrupted by disagreements with Allen over his expenses. Forced to leave university, Edgar enlisted in the army under the pseudonym Edgar A. Perry, seeking an outlet for his internal conflicts. It was amidst these personal struggles that Edgar found his true voice as a writer. In 1827, he published his first book of poetry, Tamerlane and Other Poems, under the pseudonym of Bostonian, but it went unnoticed at the time. However, his talent did not go unnoticed for long. In 1833, Edgar gained recognition with his tale manuscript found in a bottle, which bestowed him with prestige in the literary world and established him as a prominent figure in the genres of horror and mystery. In the years that followed, Edgar worked tirelessly as an editor and literary critic, contributing his own stories and poems to various magazines, his gothic and macabre style. Characterized by his mastery of suspense and atmosphere, captivated readers nationwide. Masterpieces such as The Raven, The Fall of the House of Usher, and the telltale heart cemented his status as one of the great writers of his time. Co married Virginia Clem in 1836. His cousin, who was only 13 at the time, despite society's criticisms and prejudices towards their marriage, the couple was deeply in love and mutually supported each other in their creative ambitions. From the outset, this union was marked by love and tragedy. Despite financial difficulties and Virginia's precarious health, the couple found solace and mutual support in their relationship. However, Virginia's illness became a shadow that darkened their happiness. Tuberculosis slowly consumed her, and her physical and mental decline deeply affected Edgar. Despite his efforts to keep her comfortable and cared for, Tragedy struck in 1847 when Virginia passed away at the age of 24. Virginia's death plunged Edgar into profound despair. He sought refuge in his work, writing feverishly to escape the overwhelming grief. However, he suffered from depression and addictions, and his mental health deteriorated rapidly. On October 7, 1849, Edgar Allan Poe was found in the streets of Baltimore in a state of delirium and confusion. He passed away shortly thereafter in a hospital at the age of 40. His death was as mysterious as his life, and the literary world mourned the loss of one of its brightest geniuses.
Although his life was marked by tragedy and suffering, Edgar Allan Poe's literary legacy endures to this day. His works continue to fascinate and captivate readers worldwide, reminding us of the profound beauty and transformative power of literature. Today, Edgar Allan Poe's memory lives on in every page of his works, in every whisper of his melancholic verses, and in every echo of his tales of terror and mystery. His influence endures, reminding us that even in the deepest darkness, there is always a spark of light guiding the way to literary eternity.